Hi, and welcome. I'm Carla with Classic Pianos. Thank you for joining me today as we learn more about how to read music on the staff with the Smart Pianist app on the CSP. This can also be done using the CLP on a different level, and I will show you how to do that. I'll talk about the differences when we're in the middle of it as well. So first of all, before you start learning how to read notation on a staff, and the staff are those lines and the spaces where the little notes are written, it would look something like this. I'm picking just a regular song. These are your staff notations. And all of these little dots and symbols represent a key here on your keyboard. And when you're playing on the CSP, the lights will light up and tell you where to put your fingers. But if you want to actually learn the names of the notes, there is a way to do that on the CSP. First of all, it's important to know the alphabet, not the whole thing, just the first seven letters, A through G, because the piano is actually just A, B, C, D, E, F, G repeated. The first note on an 88 keyed keyboard is an A, A, and then B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it repeats A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up the piano, and it ends on a C, right up here. Now, if they were just random white keys placed on here, it would be difficult to tell which one's which, but we have these little markers, and there are black notes right here, the two, the three, the two, and the three, all the way up the piano, making it very easy for us to identify the location of these keys. So if you look here at the two and the three, we can find out that at the bottom of the two is a key. Let's find out what name of this key is here, A, B, C. It's a C that's the same here and here and here and here. I can do the same thing with G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that's in between the first two of the three. Here's a G, G, so once you've learned all of your keys, do this by yourself, just practice. All you need to know is the alphabet and have a little bit of discipline so that you can practice naming the keys. Then you're ready to learn staff notation with the aid of the Yamaha CSP app. So I'm gonna go into the songs again, but this time I'm not gonna select a song that is so elegantly written. I'm gonna pick something a little bit more simple. If you go to the gray bar here and click on lessons, that's something a lot of people haven't gone to because it's not as fun and interactive as the other songs. You'll notice there are plenty of different lesson books in here. Teachers use these books all of the time to get kids to practice their exercises. I'm going to go to Bayer here and I'm going to see that there are just hundreds and hundreds of lessons that I can be practicing and learning. And I'm going to choose lesson one. When I'm Done selecting it, I'm gonna say done. And here's my music, it's very simple, not terribly engaging. And I don't know the name of that note because I don't read music yet. So I'm gonna put guide on, and I'm gonna press play. And I'm gonna say, what note is that? And it's gonna stop and show me on my piano right here, it's lighting up the key. I know the name of that note, it's a C, because I've been practicing the keys. And then this one is D. E. Oh, I already know this one. Just did it. E. D. F. E. D. And back down to C. So if you practice saying the notes out loud while you're looking at the sheet music, you're going to start identifying those lines and those spaces with the keys on the piano. And forevermore, no matter what country you're in, what, no matter what language you speak, this note right here will be played right here on the piano, no matter where you are, no matter what country you're in. When you're done with that, you can go on to lesson two and then lesson three and four, and you can keep progressing because it's gonna move around on the different parts of the keyboard. And before you know it, you're gonna know the names of your notes on the grand staff. The grand staff would be the one right here treble clef and bass clef. It's a lot of notes. For those of you who don't read music, just give it another month or two using those lessons and you'll be playing music like this and knowing the names of the notes in no time at all. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can always email me. Now go make some music.